What manner of crime is this? It's like a break and enter of some sort. Potential entry point. Signs of struggle. Looks like they were looking for something. Food? Possible motive? They've even taken the time to defecate on my workbench. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like whoever it was did the crime. And then made tracks. Yeah! So we have a big problem with possums here. Um, not only do they get into the workshop, but they, um, they eat all the things that we try and grow. It's a real pain. And it's a very localised issue as well. It doesn't seem to affect everyone around here because, uh, you know, trees, habitat, that sort of thing. But, but we've got them. And from what I've gathered from other people and just from our own experience, they're really tough to keep out of your garden. I'm trying a few different methods and um, I thought I'd run through a couple of them here. The first one is this. I didn't build this. This is actually up at the, um, the poly tunnels. Uh, but I did repair it a little bit. It's called a floppy fence because it's floppy. It's effectively just a chicken wire fence. It's the chicken wire strung between two tensioned wires, one at the bottom and one not quite at the top, about a foot from the top. And that's what creates uh, this floppy part which overhangs away from the garden. And the idea is that possums will climb up to a certain point but when they hit the overhang they can't hang on properly because it's too loose or too floppy for them. Um, presumably they either fall off or they, they give up and, and go away. We'll see if that works. I've also started putting together the fencing for the, the vegetable garden in the, the top orchard paddock. Uh, now I have heard that corrugated iron's a good material to use because it's a, a slipperier surface and they just can't get a can't grab onto it. I think ideally it would be vertical so that the corrugations aren't just creating a little step ladder for them, but kind of everything. Um, I might give that a try later. But we're adding another layer of protection to that as well. We're going to try We're going to try electric. We've got to do electric for our boundary anyway, but this will be a bit of a, a test to see how it works. I don't know a lot about electric fencing. Uh, when I think of electric fences, I think of that scene in Christmas Vacation where the cat goes under the lounge and gets fried. Um, but look, my understanding of them is basically that when you touch the, the hot wire, you are completing the circuit. The, the electricity is earthed at one end, it goes through the wire, when you touch the wire you're connected to the ground and that's the zap, it, the electricity going through you back into the ground. Uh, and it's that zap that animals remember and therefore avoid in the future. I think a lot of fencing guides rather euphemistically call it a, a psychological barrier because they avoid it rather than continually bumping against it and getting shocked. So the reservation I've got with the possums is that are they actually going to complete the circuit because will they be touching the ground? Um, I suppose they'll touch part of the fence which in turn will touch the ground but whether that um, loses current or you know it, it weakens the circuit because it's not direct I just wonder if it'll be as effective. Yeah. No doubt you may know this in which case you can let me know that would be great uh, but we're going to give that a try and if some combination of all three of those things work then I'll be very happy if not I'm going to have to start looking for recipes for possum and, and don't put that past me because I have a possum trap and the internet and I'm not afraid to use either. Do, 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 do.